Well, tonight, new curfew orders are in effect in the nation's largest city. More than 700 people were arrested in New York City Monday night during an outbreak of widespread looting. Macy's world-famous flagship store was among dozens that were overrun, prompting criticism today from New York's governor. CBS's Jerika Duncan was on the street when the chaos erupted, and tonight she's in Times Square. Jerika? Yeah, good evening, Nora. You can see there's hundreds of protesters behind me right now. But when you think about the history of that curfew, the last time there was a curfew enacted like that was back in 1943 during the race riots in Harlem, New York. Police say they are prepared for the protest tonight. And protesters I spoke to say they will not stop until their voices are heard. In the heart of Manhattan, we watched as dozens gathered, breaking windows, and then explosions dispersed that crowd. But elsewhere, looters seemed to have free reign, no law enforcement in sight. This is crazy. We're the cops. Scenes like that throughout the city yesterday left New, New York's York governor fuming. It was a disgrace. Use the police. You have 38,000 NYPD. The president is calling on the National Guard to intervene. New York City's mayor says no way. Someone needs a history lesson. When outside armed forces go into communities, no good comes of it. Today, we ask those protesting peacefully through the streets of New York if they feel safe. Are they going to protect us? Are they going to push the people? Are they going to hit us with rubber, rubber bullets? Like, what are we going to expect, you know? I think they just see me as my race. I think they see me as a threat. Different cities are taking different approaches. In Philadelphia, police are using aggressive tactics to break up some protests, while just across the river in Camden, New Jersey, a more subtle approach. You have to meet with people in the absence of crisis. Camden County Police Captain Zakeem James marching highly visible. People have a right to be angry and be angry at the police. Um, we haven't always stood up to um, our models uh, to protect and serve. <laughs> This is a tense moment in our country right now. Directly behind me, you can see there are a group of doctors and nurses here. I spoke to one of them. She says after being on the front lines of COVID-19, she's here today because she said racism is a public health crisis. Nora? And a public health threat, no doubt, Jerika. Thank you.